breathe in and out. Same thing exactly, you did perfect. Breathe in and out. Normal breathing. Thank you. A little, next one will be a little deeper like a sigh. <sighs> Empty your lungs, blow it out. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Now really deep breath in, 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 in. Hold that breath right there, keep holding it. Five, four, three, two, one, blow out. Push, 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 and come off. Good. Excellent job. The next one's fun. <laughs> For as fun as these can be, huh? Oh, yeah. Those are just alike. How perfect you are. Okay, <laughs> the next one, if we divided our lungs up, we call it lung volumes. We breathe in this much air, <sighs> inspiratory. We blow out this much air, <sighs> expiratory. We have this much air left in our lungs called the residual volume. We're going to measure that residual volume with, with the testing that we're doing right now. And that's what we want to see if you're trapping any air or anything. How we do this, again, nothing fast and rapid like you did the very first one. We're saving that for later. But anyway, we're doing this on regular breathing. And I have to close the door for this, and so you're just going to go regular breathing. Then I'll say all the way in. I'll be standing up, and I'll point all the way in. And then all the way out. Nothing fast. Out, 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 out. Keep blowing, keep blowing. Now, in deep. Back down to regular breathing. I make these things for that. That's just in, <laughs> out, in, out. Okay. Regular breathing. At that point, I'll say, put your hands up to your cheeks. So, will you try that with me now? Here, I'm going to have you throw that clean next way you can get more. Oh, I love your pain. Okay. We'll put your hands up to your cheeks. Regular breathing. Then I'll say, pant. I want you... If I have a candle here, I want you to flicker, but not blow it out. So little tiny baby pants, like puppy dog pants. In and out. Just like that. Not, you don't need to move your body. Just Okay, just like that. Then the machine shuts off, and I'm trying to get the pressure in your lungs. So for three breaths, you won't be able to breathe, but it's mostly just expiratory. Okay? Okay. Get regular breathing. I'm closing the door for this one. And I'm kind of loud. Tara, can you hear me? Okay. Just. Regular breathing. Breathe in and out. Perfect. Good job. Okay, on your next breath in, we're going to go all the way in. You don't have to do it fast. Breathe in deeply, deep, deep, in, 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 all the way. Now blow it out. Blow it out, blow it out. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Now all the way in, Tara. And back down to normal breathing. Breathe in and out. Normal breathing. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. This is where you're going to put your hands up to your cheeks. Now breathe in and out. Normal breathing. Good. Breathe in and out. When I say pant, I want you to follow my hand. Little tiny baby pants and pant for me. In and out, 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 in and out. Perfect. Keep going. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Great job. You're hired. That means you get to stay here all day and do it for me. Yeah, no. <laughs> no? No, thanks. <laughs> Good job. It's not fun breathing, is it? <laughs> so you didn't have your children here in Spokane? No. We're originally from Wyoming, and we moved up to Colorado. So and you moved here from Colorado. What brought you here? Mostly my health. 
Because uh, we were up in Fair Play, Colorado. High altitude? Yeah, 9,998 feet. So we were at the 10,000 foot level and my RA couldn't handle it anymore. And uh, we were talking about going back to Cheyenne, but you know, that's where all the family is. And there's a real split in the family and we don't do well. And let's face it, you know, we were only moving down to what, 6,000 feet? 5,000 feet, it wasn't much of a, oh, you know, moving uh -huh. down to still harsh winters and we needed a, you know, a, a, we needed someplace warmer, someplace closer to sea level, someplace, and uh, my husband's sister lives out here and oh. uh, she said, why don't you try out here? And uh, so I came out and spent about a year out here and then my husband was still working in Fair Play and said, how do you like it? And I said, I really like it. I really do. Uh, went through a winter out here and I really enjoyed it. And got in with Rockwood and uh, oh, good. really liked the doctors. And so he came out and joined me. Well, so where does your daughter did. live? My daughter is in, her and her husband, she's married, are in uh, Laramie, Wyoming. They oh. attend the University of Wyoming. Oh. So. That, that that would be the only thing for me. I, I just it's it is it's hard being away from my daughter. Yeah, but, you know they're talking about coming out here. So okay, we're gonna do that one more time, just like that. Okay. And then you're three quarters of the way done. Okay. Well, maybe even further than that. <laughs> you did very well. I'm to try and buy. Regular. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh. Regular breathing, just in and out, nice little tidal breaths, breathe in and out. Perfect, Tara. So do you like Spokane? Oh yeah. The weather is much milder. I'm used to, at this time of the year, being negative 30s and 8.5, and 10 too. feet, snow drifts, yeah. So. Okay, I want your eyes open for this. We're going to go all the way, next breath, all the way in, deep as you can. You don't have to do it fast. Blow it out. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Now all the way in. And regular breathing, breathe in and out, just your normal breathing. Good job. This is where I'm going to ask you to put your hands up to your cheeks, hold your cheeks in. We're not going to pat yet. But when I tell you to pat, I want you to follow my hand and use little tiny in and out. Okay, and pat for me. In and out, in and out. Little tiny. Perfect. Keep going. Keep going. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Perfect. Very nicely done. You might be staying for the day. <laughs> I don't want to Up in fair play there, I get eight and ten foot drifts and sitting in the negative thirties and forties and you know, we were used to that up there. Cheyenne is Yeah, it hit it hit zero and, and we going, Oh god, it's hot, it's tripping yeah. off. Yeah, it's true. That was today I thought, Oh yesterday it was so much colder. My husband's not at home right now, so we only heat with wood heat. I couldn't get warm till about eight in the morning yesterday. I was freezing. And yesterday I was standing outside going, God, it feels so good here. <laughs> How long have you been here? Uh, now, what, this We month? moved in... Third year? Yeah, this would, well, well yeah, you were yeah, here from two, 2011, so I was from here 2012, so. About two yeah, years. 13, yeah. I'm you're you're three years, I'm two years. Yeah. I moved on Holloway and that was fun. Yeah. I get cold on the weird at the weirdest times now that they've put me on blood thinners though. So. Oh, I bet you do. I get cold at weird times, and so I boy, when you do get cold on those, I, I just can't get warm. See, that's what I found. My age, it's harder the older you get to get warm inside. Yeah, that's what it was yesterday, and I, I just.
Do you never have have these deaths mm -mm. with the rheumatoid arthritis? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I'm real puffy today. See, my, my niece that has it, she's 20, she's 20, and uh, she's just the skinniest little thing you've ever seen. But uh, she has been on methotrexate, just as skinny, but she worked out in high school and the dance team and that's when she came. But sometimes, I mean, she's just skinny, but her knees get this big. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's pretty painful, but